In your previous video, we learned to identify if a particular salt solution will be acidic, basic, or neutral based on the cations and anion present. In this video, we'll learn to identify or to calculate the pH of a salt solution. In order to do this, the first step is to separate the salt into its cation and anion components. After we do this, we'll identify which ion affects pH. Once we've identified the ion or ions that affect pH, we'll write the ionization equation for that ion. Next, we'll have to look up the acid ionization constant for the cation based on the base ionization constant of the weak base. You'll do this using the relationship between Ka and Kb that we learned in another video. For example, we'll use the Kb for NH3 to find the Ka of the ammonium ion NH4. Alternatively, we could find the base ionization constant for the anion that affects pH using the Ka for the conjugate weak acid. So for example, we can use the Ka for hypochlorous acid, HOCl, to find the Kb for the hypochlorite ion, OCl-, if the hypochlorite ion is the one that affects pH. After we do this, we'll use an ice table and either the Ka or Kb value to find the equilibrium concentration of either the hydronium ion or the hydroxide ion. Once we have the equilibrium concentration of one of those two species, we can then calculate the pH of the solution. Let's see how to do a specific example of this kind of problem. In this problem, we're asked to find the pH of a 0.100 molar sodium formate solution. As we mentioned in the previous slide, the first step is to separate the compound, the salt, into its two ions. We can take out the sodium ion, and that leaves behind the formate ion, CHO2-. The next step is to analyze each ion to see what effect it has on solution pH. We know that sodium ions, being the counter ions of sodium hydroxide, have no effect on solution pH. If we look at the formate ion, we can see that this is the conjugate base of formic acid, HCHO2. We know formic acid is not a strong acid, which means that formic acid is a weak acid, and therefore the, the formate ion CHO2- is the conjugate base of a weak acid. That means the formate ion makes a solution basic. Now we can write the ionization equation for the formate ion. The formate ion, an aqueous, reacting with liquid water, which will be in equilibrium with formic acid, and the hydroxide ion, OH-. Now we need to identify the Kb of the formate ion from the Ka of formic acid. We can look in a table of weak acid Ka values and find that the Ka for formic acid is 1.8 times 10 to the negative 4. I know what you're probably thinking, though. Right now you're probably thinking, why can't we just look up the formate ion Kb value in a table? Generally, tables of Ka and Kb are given for neutral compounds, so it would be hard to find the Kb value for the formate ion. But because formic acid is a neutral compound, could easily find the Ka value for this species. Now that we know the Ka for formic acid, we could find the Kb for the formate ion from Kw divided by Ka, which gives us a Kb value of 5.6 times 10 to the minus 11. Now we can set up our ice table. We have an initial concentration of the formate ion of 0.100, and initial concentrations of formic acid and hydroxide of zero. Since we have a value for Kb, we know that in the change row we're going to use x, so the formate ion will decrease by x, whereas formic acid and hydroxide will increase by x. Since the Kb value is very, very small, 10 to the negative 11, we know that x will be much smaller than 0.1, so we'll assume the equilibrium concentration of the formate ion is 0.100. Now we can write the base ionization constant expression 
for this ionization equation, which is HCHO2 times the concentration of hydroxide divided by the concentration of the formate ion. So 5.6 times 10 to the minus 11 equals x squared divided by 0.1. x squared equals 5.6 times 10 to the minus 12. And taking the square root, x equals 2.4 times 10 to the minus 6. We can check to make sure our assumption was valid, and sure enough, that's the case. Now, we know that x is equal to the concentration of a hydroxide ion at equilibrium, which is 2.4 times 10 to the minus 6. We can use this and the value of kW to find the hydronium ion concentration, 4.2 times 10 to the minus 9 molar. And then we can use the pH equation so that pH equals negative log 4.2 times 10 to the minus 9, or the pH of a 0.1 molar hypochlorite ion solution is 8.38. By now, you should be able to identify the steps to find the pH of a salt solution. You should also be able to calculate the pH of a salt solution.